Pag may means, dun sa Lotto, Papua New Guinea. Like when you go through streets, everywhere you go, people will play rugby. It's a game where it really unites us. We have our own ups and downs, our, our country, we, we go through a lot, but rugby means a lot to us and it, it makes us one. Rugby means everything. Like every young kid on the street, you walk around and see them play rugby. And everyone, they wake up, they talk about rugby. Everywhere in the country, they play rugby. And I think rugby can make a lot of difference in the life of young, young kids, young youths in the country can change the attitude of people. So I think it means a lot to us and if we concentrate in building it and get a lot of players, good old young people to come and play, it's gonna make a lot of difference in that community. Yeah. basically broken into half oh, yeah. and the blue supporters over there and then uh, you know maroon supporters over here and then you know but when Ma maroons used to win this side of the house goes up and you know, when the blues win this side and then you know when it's um when it comes to the third game decider it's the whole house you can see the division in the house or who's gonna cook no maroons gonna cook for maroons and you know, if, if you're a blue supporter and you want some cold water, mm -hmm. you have to go and get it yourself because your wife is maroons and you know. <laughs> but then, you know, it, 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 all in good fun and ce celebrating the sport of rugby league. The three days when the country stops is the three games of State of Origin. Well, rugby league is our national game, so yeah. I believe you all have seen uh, when it uh, when it's uh, it's a game, Papua New Guinea, the crowd uh, goes wild and they the main thing is to be in the part of the, uh, the rugby league uh, they display at, at our rugby league field. Yeah. Who are your favourite rugby league teams? Go to Mighty Brothers <laughs> since uh, 19, uh, yeah, 1984 when my father went to uh, travel in Australia coming back and uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't ask him to buy me a jersey, gave me a Broncos jersey so that's when, I, when it all started and yeah, Broncos all the way until I'm now 42 years old, still supporting uh, Mighty Broncos. <laughs> what do the hunters and the Kumals especially mean to, to the country of Papua New Guinea? Oh, they mean they mean a lot then, yeah, because uh, since uh, it's a national uh, uh, sport, I believe all the kids in Papua New Guinea they are all wishing and willing to be uh, in uh, the hunters uh, and team on Kumul uh, as, as our national team. So it, it means a lot to the uh, Papua New Guineans and especially the ones growing up. As soon as it's rugby season. They can just uh, grab anything, any stuff, and they start playing rugby league. And they are wishing to be in Hunters and the Mighty Pumas. I'm a diet Grizzly Maroons. <laughs> Out of Maroons players, they went for, you know, fan day. I always watch their fan day, how they treat their fans and all that. That's why I'm in love with them. My favorite team is Maroons, Grizzly Maroons. No matter what, I always think support the Maroons, win or miss. Forever in my heart. <laughs> Yeah, this is where I grew up playing and yeah, this it's pretty tough, a uh, tough perok so I got a lot of um, marks on my body that's strong this field. Growing up uh, in this environment, it just um, helped me to um, work hard. Like, like it just sort of uh, took me to like 
If I go with, uh, to training, I just work hard because I, I came in an environment where we work hard and get things. So I think, I think that that's the most thing that, you know, it helped me get to where I am now. We love rugby here. It's pretty much our sports. Everyone, every, um, every children, they love playing rugby here, so. He was the, he was the youngest. Young, youngest. Youngest player in this village who played egg weight. Oh. So, here, while he was playing, we already, we already know that he's going to be somebody. Somebody in there, in PNG here. The whole village of Papa, they are very, very proud. Uh, they are looking forward to see Moria wearing Komori jersey. Even the kids, when they played here or when they played rugby or touch, they should be mentioning Amore Amore, Amore Amore. It defines us as female in our community. Like just being part of rugby league, it gives us confidence to say that, that we can do what we can do. Basically it gives confidence to all the female in PNG. I think the female rugby league has grown and uh, since the 2022 World Cup and last year uh, PNG rugby league has introduced a, a two week national championship. It has uh, changed the face of rugby league here in uh, PNG. I know that a lot of girls want to come in and hopefully we have a national competition for the uh, female here in uh, PNG and I think that will really help the girls to uh, be part of an elite team like they can have opportunity to go down to Australia and play if we have a national team, a national competition here in PNG. We have uh, broken the culture barriers, everyone support it from the kids up to even the village they talk about rugby league, female rugby league, female rugby league player, they are role model. So I'm privileged and honored to be part of, you know, Ampers, you know, as a, as a second semi-pro uh, team. And I'm being part of them and working with them. It's the most honorable moment, you know. I'm really grateful for the opportunity and Coach Paul and all these Ampers staff and Chairman Gately. Thank you. I would love to see rugby grow. Not only in, I mean, rugby is growing, actually, but especially all the environment, like settlements, going and especially the development offices. Like we got like um, that end of coming up. So we just have to build our junior system. If once our junior system is really set, then I think we get perfect opportunity. Nowadays generation they're coming up, they got plenty of opportunity to go out and play outside. Even not only in Anders, but there's many clubs outside in New South Wales Cup or Quinton Cup or even overseas as well. There's many opportunities for them. I would like for them to go out and experience that what I have to experience, but not only in PNG, but overseas and live their life that they wanted to live. To see rugby league being used as to help change mindset of young people in society at the moment. There's a lot of things happening within our country that I believe through rugby league we can be able to help bring about much needed change. Um, something which can be able to help us in our growth as a society and as a nation as a whole. Well.